guys, I am here to make a video tonight for y'all and y'all are gonna be like, ugh, Olivia, you're harping on us about this. Yes, I am. I'm here to talk with you about Christmas. I don't know if you're gonna be seeing this in July or August. This is pre-surgery for me. So I'm just doing videos ahead of time and this one popped in my head and thought it'd be a good idea because it's something that I'm already working on. So figured maybe it could be a goal for you if you wanna put it in your life to make it a goal and be ahead. Let's go ahead and jump into this and let's get started. The first thing I wanna mention is budget. When you are getting your check in the month, no matter if you get paid once a month, five times a month, 10 times a month, that'd be nice. But if you do, every penny in your bank account needs to go to something. So every time you swipe that card, before you even start using your money from your paycheck, figure out what bills do I need to pay? What extra do I have? And assign it to something, whether it's costumes for Halloween or if you're having a Halloween party, start putting money up for that. Start putting money up for Christmas. Even if it's $50, just have in mind, like think about last year. How much did you pay for Christmas? How much do you think it's gonna change this year? Are your kids getting older? Are they gonna want more expensive gifts? If they are gonna want more expensive gifts and you have younger ones at home, are you gonna give them each the same amount and the older ones just get less because they did get bigger gifts and they cost more? Or how are you gonna do that? Figure that out ahead of time. And mentioning bigger gifts, let's go ahead and get into it because I've already pre-planned a few gifts that I've gotten from, are getting from my kids. So if you watched my last video, we are going to Disney uh, either June or July of 2025. So with this Christmas coming up in mind, I am gonna be prepping for uh, Disney for their Christmas and Easter this year. A lot of the things that we're gonna be taking with us, if they're gonna need like new clothes and things for the summer, I'm gonna get Disney related stuff for their Easter baskets to wear to the parks. And same thing for Christmas, I'm gonna get them pajamas, probably some Disney related pajamas so they can wear them at the parks when we go to Disney. Then also don't use credit cards for Christmas shopping if you can help it because you're going to get a charge at a higher interest rate. I hate having to owe back. I've never taken out a credit card for Christmas and thank God I've never had to. I get it if some people do, but do you know how nice it is just to buy your Christmas gifts? Get to watch your kids open everything on Christmas morning if you're able to. And once it's done, it's done. I don't have to worry about, I've got to pay this this month this this month because after Christmas Day you can start pay, uh, planning on your next check to save for the next Christmas if that makes sense so that's what's really helped me is setting a budget in mind save months ahead throw into a savings account some banks like my bank offers a Christmas savings account which is three percent interest I don't typically use a uh, Christmas savings but you can if it's an option if it was a higher interest rate I probably would only thing with my bank is if you do a Christmas savings, you can't touch it until Christmas, if that makes sense. And it just doesn't ideally work for me because I'm a clearance shopper. So if you see things on clearance like Nerf guns and things like that, pick them up if you know your kids are gonna want them or if they're into that. And that's another thing, clearance shop and also know what your kids like. What do your kids play with mostly around your house? One of my children plays with Nerf guns all the time. So obviously I'm gonna add a few Nerf guns or one Nerf gun to his Christmas list. My youngest, he likes to steal my broom and mop. So you know when I'm getting his butt for Christmas? I'm gonna get him a Melissa and Doug kids kitchen and mop set, kitchen broom and mop set. That's, what he, that's one of his gifts he's getting. Another thing, my kids have really, more of my oldest have been wanting a TV for their bedroom. He did get a TV for his birthday, but it was one of those that could move in and out of the car and it pretty much has stayed in the car. So for Christmas, I'm gonna be getting him a TV. It may just be a little $50 flat screen TV. I'm not hooking up cable to it. I'm getting a DVD player and a TV and that's what's going in his room because that's what he wants. Things that your kids need, like I always get my kids clothing for Christmas. Um, my oldest son lost his dirt bike, dirt bike charger. It's not a real dirt bike. It's just one of those like motorized little cars that you get. Um, 
he lost the charger. When we lived at our old house, our dog got a hold of it because he wasn't responsible to pick it up even after I told him to pick it up. So he's been asking for a new charger. Well, I'm not just gonna go and buy that. You have to kind of learn the lesson to take care of your stuff. So it's a possibility that that may be on his Christmas list. It may be something that I do get to replace. Um, and then again, if you're going on a trip, my kids do not have tablets. One of them has one of the old timey Nintendo DS's and he absolutely loves it. But I've been wanting to get my ta my kids tablets. I wanted something that they didn't have to use internet and I figured out the solution for that. I've been looking at Apple iPad Airs. No, I'm not going to spend $1,000 on Apple iPad Airs. I am buying a refurbished Apple iPad Airs for a hundred bucks on Amazon. It's like brand new. They just were returned and yeah. I don't have to hook internet up to it. I'll hook it up download whatever they can play without internet and then I'll turn the internet off and we can use it on our car ride to Disney. So things like that, that's kind of how I think if we have something planned, what do they need for that? What can I do now? What do I need to wait for? But also make things fun and have things that they do want. So I hope this helped you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.